Hello everyone, this is my video for indices and standard form. This is the second one I've done on indices. The first one was this. That just goes on forever. This one's a bit shorter. Um, what I've done here, I've messed up the English on those first questions at the top. And new stuff, standard form. We have done this just a little bit. Um, but this video, if you, if you can't I get it in the class this afternoon, maybe I can help you now. When we write the number like this, we call it an ordinary number. And when we write it as something point something times 10 to the something, we call it standard form. So all I did, I copied that number over to there. Now I'm going to change it to standard form. Well, the decimal point is there. And in standard form, we don't want it to be there. We want to move it after the first number. So I had to move the decimal point that way. The real number is 10 times bigger than this one. Look, 17.2, 1.72. The real number we started with is 10 times bigger. So we're going to have to put times 10 to the power of 1. And that is how to change from an ordinary number to standard form. I'll just do one more of these. Okay, so the same thing, we've got to move the decimal point. At the moment, the decimal point is there. So we've got to move it one, two, three, four places to there. So the real number is a lot smaller than this new 3.7 number that we've got. So instead of multiplying it by 10 to the plus something, I'm going to have to multiply it and see how many. So we moved it this way, one, so I'll do it like that, one, two, three, four. And then up there, because this number is bigger than that one, we're going to type in minus four and not plus four. So it's a plus number there if this number is smaller than that. But if we had to make the number bigger to go to standard form, then it will be minus. They're the same numbers. That's the point. They're the same numbers. We're just writing it in a different way. And standard form, always something point something times 10 to the something. OK, um, that's just going backwards and forwards. And in these ones, I always like to do it like this, right? I just add some zeros at the end because that doesn't change anything. And then I think, well, it says times 10 to the 3. So I've got to move that decimal point. 1, 2, 3. It's going to be there. So can you, I'm not going to help you any more with that. Can you try and work that one out on your own? Right. Um, harder questions. There's a couple at the end here which I really like. I think you'll enjoy those questions. You can use a calculator after question 9. Let's just try and do those ones, right? Now we have two numbers in standard form and we have to multiply them by each other. And here's how to do it. 2.1 times 6, what's that? 12.6, remember no calculator. 2.1 times 6 is 12.6. And then we think about these powers of 10. And that's 10 to the plus 8, and that's 10 to the minus 5. So when we put that together, we've got a plus 8, minus 5, so it's going to be 3. So with all of these hard questions, you just do the, the normal number together, and then you do the times 10 to the something together. So this one's going to be plus 7 and minus 12. You can guess what that's going to be. Um, all these questions are exactly the same, uh, just to give you some practice, until we get down to number 9, 10, and 11. I'm not going to help you with those. Those are my challenge questions. So I think I'll make them purple. Good idea. OK, those are my challenge questions after that point. Please give it, uh, give it some thought. They're the best questions on the paper. OK, that's the end of indices and standard form. See you later, everyone.